Thank you, Doa. Now, with that victory, we do have our final four teams locked in for the semifinals tomorrow. Let's take a look at the standings just to recap the remaining possibilities. Currently, SKT remains at the top of the table, but if AHQ beats them in our next game, that would create a three-way tie for first. And since no team owns the head-to-head -head over the other two, that would mean two extra games, gentlemen. And I bonus bet you're all games. happy to hear that. <laughs> bonus games is bonus right. Bonus I don't games. like the terms tiebreaker. I like bonus games. Yeah, it makes it sound like a win for everyone. No one's being forced to play a game. Because <laughs> I'm sure SKT would like to avoid the bonus games. But we'd all like to watch the bonus games. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's, let's look at that then. Because this is very interesting. When you look at the three teams that would be in that tiebreaker, EDG, uh, SKT, and AHQ, two of them were expected to be there. One of them was not. And so I really do want to take a look at AHQ and their performance throughout this tournament so far. I'm really liking what they're doing so far, and they've been very vocal about just wanting to prove to the world that they are good, and they have done it here. I think they're going to bring their A game when they play SKT, and to be honest, with the performance that SKT showed against Fnatic, showing those early game weaknesses and how Fnatic exploited them, I think they can take a note from the Fnatic book, put it into theirs, and perhaps come out on top. Yeah, I think Mountain has had a phenomenal series, a phenomenal tournament so far because he was a guy who wasn't really stepping up back in the LMS. And then it was like, whoa, 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 where's this guy coming from? And he's really good right now. And he synergizes really well and gets everybody ahead. So I think, once again, the Rek'Sai on him, Rek'Sai on every jungler here who has early game pressure is crazy. But this is a team that's not afraid to take risks, and that's catching a lot of people off guards off guard and I want to see this matchup versus SKT because they're a team who doesn't take a whole lot of risk without the vision. And I'm sure you're happy spawn by the idea that EDG could leave the group stages in first. Yeah, theoretical possibility still on the table that EDG comes out first. But I actually think that SKT benefit the most if they drop this game. The reason why is because SKT don't give much away when they play. So everyone has seen how SKT, SKT play. They play a very controlled style of game. I think that AHQ have the least to give away because they're kind of bursting through these games and catching people off guard. The more they play, the more they keep doing that. Some of that surprise goes out the windows. Maybe we can track a trend because a couple of the other teams, SKT, we know that Lulu is now something that you really have to look at. How Lulu gets through so much, I have absolutely no idea, but maybe that is something that we can look at there. Yeah, you can just spend so much and SKT is just so strong, especially when Faker is playing, so you have to leave something open, but maybe another approach is leave the Lulu. Uh, not open for Faker because he seems to perform extremely strong. I'd rather have him on Lulu, to be honest. Have you seen him one-shot people on his ear? Just put him on something that's not going to demolish your team. I think yeah. you can, like, leave open the LeBlanc, and <laughs> if you win, it would be <laughs> League of Legends history. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have to get through that next matchup first, but for now, we're going to send it down to the floor where Shox is standing by with our newest semifinalists. Thank you very much, Dash. I'm joined here by Rainover and Huni after making it into the playoffs here at MSI. Now, um, I don't want to take anything away from the fact that you guys did make it into the playoffs as a new team, but first I want to get your vision kind of on why you think that you guys went so up and down the last couple of days in your games. Uh, yesterday and today, uh, there was like some sloppy games. Like we give them, like give uh, EDG and HQ like really lots of point and early game. Uh, like usually our weakness was early game and then like we make some mistakes like burning our flashes in level one like this thing. So uh, like we were not used to like those camps and those aggressive early games because like especially Chinese teams, they play really aggressive and then we learn so much about like their early game aggressive uh, plays. So yeah. Yeah. Winnie? Um, what? Uh, I think we, we are a new team, we, except Yellow Star. So we have no, we, we have no, not enough like uh, experience. So we getting, we, if we, when we playing winning game, when we play the winning game, we getting exciting and then we lose focus and then we miscommunicate. It's, it's pretty much so mm -hmm. I think it's really really need uh, experience I think so yeah so learning a lot so far how has it been in general um, getting to play against some of the best teams in the world and maybe interacting with them and talking to them and meeting some of those players uh, 
Uh, we were so happy that we could play such uh, big teams, we, we are really good teams, and we learned so much things. I feel like I learned so much things by playing MSI, and uh, I'm really happy. And yeah. Huni, was there someone you were very happy to meet here at MSI? Uh, of course, I also to. Uh, I'm really happy for I get. Uh, I keep my experience, my courage, as and then I first time experience about playing for international uh, tournaments it it will be really cool <laughs> and then it was yeah until here it's really good really good experience so far well the people love you over here too uh, final question though great experience and all but it's not over yet you have made it into playoffs that does mean that you will be playing or AHQ or SKT or EDG which haven't been your best matches so do you think you can bridge the gap until tomorrow, or is it too early for you as a new team? Uh, uh, first time uh, we play playoffs, like best of five. Uh, like we were really like they didn't have confidence because it, everyone have everyone was like first time. But like uh, by doing the uh, ULCS, we played two play best of five, and then we both go fifth game. So I think uh, we have a little bit experience on best of five and I'm pretty confident in best of five more than like this best of one so uh, I think whoever team like maybe we can make some surprise. Make some surprise. Huni, what do you think? Uh, of course I, uh, I think so too. I, we can be like um, make me two four friends we can make a uh, surprise and that um, I hope so that I, I will be like win, winner this to this tournament. You hope you win the whole thing. Well, congratulations, you made it in the playoffs. We have to take a short break, but we'll be right back with our regular scheduled matches as SKT takes on HQ for the seeding for the playoffs. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Still threatening. Here comes Saldrin. Can they save him? Energy in a lot of trouble. Your first blood taken by Ray Flash from Steelback, gonna pick up one kill, and he wants the double. Theocles in a lot of trouble. Steelback, oh, that equalizer. That was a fantastic ultimate from Hooney. Wow, and oh. what a route. Oh. Oh. oh no. Fnatic secures themselves a spot in the playoffs. GG.